Warning, this content is for entertainment and educational purposes only. This video is brought to you by First Detachment Nutrition. Battle tested, expert formulated. Use discount code AB10 at checkout for 10% off. Hey guys, Big Paul here. I got some pretty scary stuff. There was a study put out that shows that erythritol a commonly used sweetener in the bodybuilding community, sugar alcohol, has been linked to pretty dramatic increases in clotting risk, clotting risk for heart attack and stroke and cardiovascular events. Considering the amount of cardiovascular events, strokes, and heart attacks that we've seen recently, this is concerning. Combine that with other clotting factors that already exist in bodybuilding. We already have thick blood. We already have, uh, you know, are doing things with PEDs that may not help with that. There's the the C word we shall not mention here and the jab that goes with it that may also increase clotting risk. But this is another one. And this seems pretty significant. This is of concern. So we're going to dig into that and take a look at this today. This is pretty scary stuff, guys. We'll talk about it in just one second. <laughs> All right, so it says a sugar replacement called erythritol used to add bulk or sweetened stevia, monk fruit, and keto-reduced sugar products has been linked to blood clotting, stroke, heart, heart attack, and death, according to a new study. The de degree of risk was not modest, <laughs> said the lead study author, Dr. Stanley Hazen, director of the Center for Cardiovascular Diagnostic and Prevention at the Cleveland Clinic Learner Research Institute. Guys, the Cleveland Clinic is the best cardiovascular research and uh, treatment clinic in the entire world. So I would strongly consider what they're saying <laughs> um, as, a, as a stern warning to us. People with existing risk factors for heart disease, such as diabetes, were twice as likely to experience heart attack or stroke if they had the highest levels of erythritol in their blood, according to the new study published Monday in the journal Nature Medicine. Yeah, that's, that's nuts, man. If your blood level of erythritol was in the top 25% compared to the bottom 25%, there was about a two-fold higher risk of heart attack and stroke. It's on par with the strongest cardiac risk factors like diabetes, Hazen said. That is terrifying. I mean, that's nutty. A two-fold increase in risk. And we know, I, I've been guilty of it. I'm pounding sugar alcohols during contest prep because I you get sugar cravings. It helps me deal with the sugar cravings. It makes me wonder if the other sugar alcohols have issues. This one was just specifically, the study was just specifically done on erythritol. So it makes you wonder. Additional lab and animal research presented in the paper revealed that erythritol appeared to be causing blood platelets to clot more readily. Clots can break off and travel to the heart, triggering a heart attack, or to the brain, triggering a stroke. This certainly sounds an alarm, said Dr. Andrew Freeman, director of the Cardiovascular and Prevention and Wellness of the National Jewish Health and Hospital in Denver, who was not involved in the research. Yeah, this is, this is terrifying, guys. Uh, there appears to be... A clotting risk from using erythritol, Freeman said. Obviously, more research is needed, but in abundance of caution, it might make sense to limit erythritol in your diet right now. Oh, man. Uh, in response to the study, the Calorie Control Council and Industry Association told CNN that the results of the study are contrary to decades of scientific research showing reduced calorie sweeteners like erythritol are safe as evidenced by global regulatory permissions for their use in foods and beverages, said Robert Rankin, the council's executive director, in an email. Well, I can tell you that these councils, they're just lobbyists for the industry. It's all about the Benjamins. <laughs> 
The results should not be extrapolated to the general population as participants in the intervention were already increased risk of cardiovascular events, Rankin said. That sounds like a bunch of BS to me. It sounds like somebody trying to save an industry's bacon who makes a lot of money off of this stuff. The European Association of Polylaw, Poly All Producers declined comments, saying it had not reviewed the study. So what is erythritol? Like sorbitol and xylitol, erythritol is a sugar alcohol, a carb found naturally in many fruits and vegetables. It has about 70% of the sweetness of sugar and is considered zero calorie, according to experts. It's not actually zero calorie, but it's pretty close to it. Uh, artificially manufactured in massive quantities, erythritol has no lingering, lingering aftertaste and doesn't spike blood sugar and has less of a laxative effect than other sugar alcohols. I know it has become popular recently because a lot of the other sugar alcohols will make you shit your pants. I've heard of bodybuilders using it to sweeten stuff to keep the calories low. It's become the sweetheart of the food industry, an extremely popular additive to the keto and other low-carb products, foods, and foods marketed to people who people with diabetes, he added. Some of the diabetes-labeled foods we looked at had more erythritol than any other item by weight. Yeah, that's terrifying because if you have diabetes, your cladding risks are already higher. Erythritol is the largest ingredient by weight. And many natural stevia and monk fruit products, he's an edit. So if you're using any stevia or monk fruit sweeteners, that is a concern. Because stevia and monk fruit is about 200 to 400 times sweeter than sugar. Just a small amount is needed in any product. The bulk of the product is erythritol, which adds a sugar-like crystalline appearance and texture uh, consumers expect. An unexpected discovery. The discovery of the connection between the erythritol and cardiovascular issues was purely accidental, Hazen said. We never expected this. We weren't even looking for it. Hazen's research had a simple goal, find the unknown chemicals or compounds in the person's blood that might predict their risk of heart attack, stroke, or death in the next three years. To do so, they began analyzing 1,157 blood samples in people at risk for heart disease collected between 2004 and 2011. We found the substance that seemed to play a big role. We didn't know what it was, Hazen said, and then we discovered it was erythritol, a sweetener. The human body naturally creates erythritol, but in very low amounts. It would not account for the levels measured, he said. To confirm the findings, Hazen said his team tested another batch of blood samples from over 2,100 people in the United States with an additional 833 samples gathered by colleagues in Europe through 2018. About three quarters of these participants in all three populations had coronary artery disease or high blood pressure, and about a fifth had diabetes, Hazen said. Over half were male in their 60s and 70s. All three populations the researchers found had higher levels of erythritol were connected to greater risk of heart attack and stroke or death within three years. But why? To find out, the researchers did Further animal lab tests and discovered that erythritol was provoking enhanced thrombosis or clotting in the blood. That's terrifying, guys. Absolutely terrifying. Clotting is necessary for the human body or we bleed to death from clots or injuries. The same process is constantly happening internally as well. Our blood vessels are always under pressure and we're, when we spring leaks, blood platelets constantly are plugging up these holes all the time. However, the side of the clot, the place... The, the, and the platelets depends on the size of the trigger and the stimulants of the cell. He said, for example, if they trigger is only 10%, then you get 10% of a clot. But what we're seeing is erythritol is the platelets become super responsive. A mere 10% produces a 90 to 100% clot formation. That That is nuts. For people that are at risk of clotting, heart attack and stroke, like people with existing cardiac disease, or people with diabetes, I think there's sufficient data here to stay away from erythritol until more studies are done. Oliver Jones, a professor of chem chemistry at RMIT University of Victoria, Australia. Um, let's see what he said. They said there's, there, they found an association between erythritol and clotting risk, not a definitive proof the link exists. Jones said he was not involved in the research, he said, in these statements. 
Any possible risk of excess erythritol would also need to be balanced against a very real health risk of excess glucose consumption, Jones said. Well, that is true. If you're pounded sugar, you're diabetic, you have heart disease, you're fat, you're out of shape, is it going to be as bad as erythritol? I don't know. But for us in our community with bodybuilding, we know that we have increased cardiovascular risk. We have high blood pressure. We have thicker blood with high hematocrit, high hemoglobin from taking PEDs. We're doing stupid stuff on contest prep, like dehydrating ourselves, uh, taking things like uh, tamoxifen, which increase clotting risk on top of that. And then you throw in uh, erythritol on top of it, which is commonly used. I know a lot of people use it on contest prep. You're really, really, it seems, you know, at least this initial data indicates that it seems that you're taking a huge huge increase in risk factors for clotting, heart attack, and stroke. Maybe it was a contributing factor to some of the people that have passed away recently, and you compound that with uh, the C-related issues, uh, the word we cannot say. You, you have all these multiple different factors, high blood pressure. There, there's all these different things that, that go together here that may, um, that may, may further contribute to things, but... Anyway, I I want to give credit to the CNN article. I know, shoot me, it's CNN, but it the study. I'll post a link to the CNN article, giving credit to them, and I will put a link to the the study up here as well. If you want to go check out the study yourself, I would say this warrants some caution. I it makes me hesitant to use erythritol anymore. I have used it in the past. I have consumed products that have a lot of erythritol in it. I'm sure you have too if you've done any sort of contest prep. It makes me think twice. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. For coaching or consultations, head over to www.anabolicbodybuilding.com to book your spot today. I can help you with optimizing hormones, fat loss, muscle gain, physique, athletic performance, nutrition, and health. For more information, shoot me an email at bigp3rd at gmail.com.